I wanted to figure out if I could study for something but in Minecraft. So I created flashcards in Minecraft Java Edition. They're pretty simple. I created a function in a data path that spawns signs in front of you, alternating between the question and the answer. When you read the question, destroy it. If you were right, destroy the answer and move on. If you were wrong, right click the answer and it will hurt you. Get enough wrong and you get the point. I made it super easy with this shared Google Sheet that automatically formats the function for you, so you can just copy it and include your data from Quizlet or Anki or wherever and add it to your data pack. All right, let's get started. I'll be showing how to set up a data pack and function folder, but if you already know how to do this, you can skip to the next section. Okay, first we'll need to set up your data pack and function folder. The easiest way to do this is to go into Minecraft, and go to Options, Resource Packs, and Open Pack Folder. And go up one level to your .minecraft folder, go to Saves, and open your world, which you want this to be in. And while we're here, make sure that everything you name is all in lowercase. Open Data Packs, and create a new folder in here, which you can name whatever. In here, create a file called pack.mcmeta. I'm going to be using Notepad++ here, but you can just use Notepad. And in pack.mcmeta, you'll want to include this text in it, which will be in the description. This is specifically for version 1.20.1, .1, and you'll have to look online for a different pack format, and I'll include a link in the description that will show you what pack format you will need for your version of Minecraft. Back to your file explorer and you will want to create a new folder next to here called data. In here we'll be creating our namespace which is another folder that you can kind of just name whatever you want. Mine will be called source or src for short. And inside here we'll be creating another folder specifically for our functions. Finally in here we will be creating our function, which you can call whatever you want, but it has to be a mcfunction. I know it's actually mc function, but I, I like to call it mcfunction because I think it sounds funny. So here we'll call it cards.mcfunction. So let's test this real quick in the game. First, we need to make sure you have cheats enabled. So you can do that when you're creating a map or by clicking on open to LAN and then allowing cheats from there and starting a LAN world. But I already have cheats enabled, so I don't need to do that. So let's make sure our function actually works. Go back to the function file and type say hello world. Save that. Make sure you don't have any slashes or anything. And let's go back to the game. And you can type slash reload to make sure we are loading our actual new files and then slash function space and if your setup is correct you will see that it will try to autocomplete so you can either hit tab to autocomplete it or you can type it out and if it worked you will see that you just said hello world if it didn't work or you aren't seeing the game autocompleting your function you can look at your logs located at dot minecraft dot logs and your latest log. And you can scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file and it will tell you what went wrong. Likely you messed up a folder or file name or you added something extra or forgot something. So try to copy what I've done exactly. So now we need to create your actual flashcards. You can use Anki or Quizlet or whatever to export your data or you can manually type all the stuff you want to be studying. I'm using Anki since there's a super easy way to export the data into a good format. I think I'm just using the default text format. I believe you can export Quizlet into Anki since the default Quizlet export format isn't that great to work with. Unfortunately with Anki I am just it's just going to be a standard flashcard deck so there's not going to be any of your built-in spaced repetition. Eventually I'll try to figure out a way to include that but for now it's just a standard deck in the order that you set it up. So this Anki deck is for Duolingo Indonesian, the entire vocabulary. It's pretty outdated but it gives me exactly what I need where I have all of the questions on one side and all of the answers on the back side so I'll be wanting to translate all of these words myself from English to Indonesian. Then we will create a copy of my Google Sheet which is also in the description and I'll call mine Duolingo Flashcards. So all you have to do is copy your questions or the front of your flashcard into the questions column 
specifically after column seven because we do not want to block this one. So everything after here, the one that starts with the set block. So from here and paste and copy your answers into the answers column. So as you can see, you're gonna to need to actually expand out some of these a little bit further. So what you can do is select the area before and then use the little thing in the bottom right to just expand it down all the way to the end. And it should automatically make all of these to be odd numbers. And again, select this section, slide that down, and these should be all even numbers. And you'll also need to select these two columns. There's a line break specifically at the end on this column, so we will actually need to be copying that and making sure that we drag that down as well all the way to the end of our data set. And so just to make sure, we do have that line break there because that is really important. And so essentially what this whole spreadsheet is doing is that it's formatting everything from this entire section into right there. So we do need to make sure that all of our data from C7 all the way down to M38 is selected on here. So as you can see, I was one off. Sorry, scratch that N38 because we do need column N, specifically the necessary column. You know, just to make sure that we don't forget this, I'm gonna make this entire column obnoxiously green just to make sure that you remember that you have to select it as well. So N38 is including this column right there. So then, since Google Sheets kind of does weird things with copying and pasting, and sometimes adds weird extra characters in the concatenation here, what this single cell is doing is that it's replacing some of the characters in this cell. I probably could combine these both into one function, but for now, this is good enough, and I don't really want to keep working on this, so it is what it is. So then, all you have to do is simply copy and paste this text into your function file. And sometimes copying into here will still give you some weird extra quotation marks. So just make sure there's not a quotation mark at the beginning or at the end or anything that looks kind of out of place. If you're not familiar with these commands, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. We do have a little extra white space here, an extra new line. Not a big deal. We can delete it if we want. And just make sure you save. All right, assuming we have done everything correctly, you can simply reload again and call your function. And there we go, we see the word, so therefore it's working. Hey, and I set this up so that it gives you a diamond pickaxe. So I actually don't need to be in creative, I can just be in survival for all of this. And yeah, now you can do like I mentioned where you read the question and okay, so the word for I is saya. And if you get it right, then you keep going. And if you say, oh, I don't know what this means, Ah, that's right, that's what it was. And then you right click. So if you get it wrong, you right click. If you get it right, you keep moving on. And I did make sure to make it so that only the answers are the things that can actually hurt you. So for the questions, if you right click it, you're just editing the sign. So let's say I forgot this word, then I would right click it, keep moving on. And eventually I would have to start over. I have other ideas as to how I'm gonna expand this out, but as for right now, this is more than good enough for my uses. I'm honestly not great with Minecraft commands as of making this video. I've only worked on them for like three hours just to make this very specific thing that I wanted to make. But if you have any questions, you know, be sure to comment down below. I'll try to answer them, or maybe hopefully someone else who knows better than I can will be able to. But yeah, be sure to follow if you're interested in fun ways to do ordinary things like learning or fitness or habit development and be sure to let me know if you have any other ideas. Thanks for watching.